You know, I love my handbags and keeping them pristine. That's why I'm excited about Cure, the ultimate solution for protecting and preserving your purse collection. We maintain our shoes and cars, so why not our handbags? These are investments, and Cure helps them last a lifetime. Plus, if you ever want to resell, Cure keeps your bags in top condition for maximum value. There's a limited supply available, so head to mycure.com to get your leather care kit today. That's M Y C U I R E dot com, the best way to make your handbag last forever. The days might be getting shorter, but the action on DraftKings Casino is here to stay. Play hundreds of games for endless excitement. Try your hand at classic table games or set the slots on fire with fan favorites like Cash Eruption. New players can play just five bucks and get 50 instantly in casino credits. Download the DraftKings Casino app and sign up with code PRETTY. Then press play on your favorite games to join the fun. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One offer per new casino customer. Casino credits are non-withdrawable and expire in 168 hours. Terms at casino.draftkings.com slash get50. Ends November 24th, 2024. Welcome back to another episode of Pretty Not Smart. If you are listening, you probably noticed that it's just me for right now because I have to call somebody from the dead so that we can continue this episode. I'm really nervous to do this. I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Oh my gosh, should I do it, man? Beetlejuice. Oh, well, he died. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Why are you <laughs> For real, I forgot. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Like, no, I'm like. Alex, <laughs> Alex, <laughs> 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 I'm Beetlejuice, and I'm Lydia Dietz, uh, and I'm Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. For today's episode, we decided to dress up as your auntie's all-time fave movie, Beetlejuice. What man? Well, this episode's off to a bad start. He's a man. He's all falling asleep. You guys, it's all mess. <laughs> guys, last episode, I don't know if you guys know, but Alex is like a major no sabo. He does not speak any Spanish. And last episode, it was like mainly all Spanish with my parents. And he was like falling asleep most of the episode. You could just see him like nodding his head like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Big? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> not like that it's because he couldn't understand anything you guys so he Pobrecito. was a little bored but right now you guys probably didn't catch it but he caught it our main camera wasn't recording yeah. and i'm a little man but yeah. i'm glad he caught it now because if this whole episode would have been like not filmed in the main camera um i think he would have been right here <laughs> that would have been man. No, there would have been another skeleton we keep it like all the way up till next year this is our old producer Miguel, <laughs> like you guys never met him. <laughs> you guys never got the chance to meet him. Like, but here he is in spirit. <laughs> like, and that's our old co-host. <laughs> Just so <kidding>. Adam. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, um, before we had Alex, it was just me and Lou. You guys, the amount of times that I have fucked up, <laughs> I think I forgot the key like twice, so I locked us out. I think once I like did not record the audio for like a good thirty minutes. <laughs> but having Alex is like you actually part two. Ah, literally, just kidding. He's like, he's a little more advanced though. Yeah, he, he's smarter than me. But here we are dressed as Hocus Pocus. No, I'm just kidding. Beetle what is it? Juice. Beetlejuice. We already talked a little bit about Beetlejuice, but we do love Beetlejuice one and number two. So we yes. decided to dress up as Beetlejuice. And fun fact, actually, really sad fact you haven't watched it already because you're mean 
I actually filmed a video with Ella Wishes yes. on my YouTube channel. And I turned her into the baby from Beetlejuice. <laughs> and I was actually supposed to wear this for that video. But I ended up forgetting it here at the warehouse. So when I ended up filming with Ella, I didn't have my part of the costume. We were both supposed to be like Beetlejuice. I was going to be the Beetlejuice. She was going to be like my baby. But... I forgot it here, so here we are. It's okay. It was so cute. I loved it. Do her little cheeks. Shout out to Nika. Oh, Wait. your cheeks. <laughs> Wait. What? Happy Halloween. Oh, my God, you guys. It's Halloween. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. It's because we pre film. Yeah, but today is <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> if you guys are going to go out trick-or-treating, be safe and have fun. If you're going to take your kids out to trick-or-treating, be, be safe. safe and have fun. Yes. And I actually miss trick-or-treating a lot. I do, too. Yeah. It's not the same anymore. Mm. It's really sad. I feel like growing up, I miss the old costumbres. Like there was a shit ton of kids running everywhere during mm -hmm. Halloween. The Packed. parents with the little flashlights. Mm -hmm. And now it's like. Grr, 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 yeah, in cricket. our neighborhoods, um, I feel like we and Yachty don't see a lot of kids, but we've heard that there's like special neighborhoods that have like events which is where a lot of people have, like, will go block to parties yeah so i mean that's really cool and fun too but back in the day like with us it was just like you would go to like every house yeah i miss that and you would go to see like um what houses were giving like candies and shit fun like that. fact we actually recently well not recently when i met alex i learned that his neighborhood is like one of the in watsonville he lives in like a nicer neighborhood in watsonville and that's where we would go mm -hmm. trick-or-treating so we not probably. We definitely, we definitely knocked at his house. Knocked at his house because that was the neighborhood where we would go trick or treating. Yeah. And we're like, wait. Like, well, I remember once, like, I went to his house for the first time. I was like, wait, isn't this where we would trick or treat? Yeah. And But it looks different in the daytime versus at night. At night, like, but it's changed a lot because at, and during Halloween, so many people would decorate and it looks so mm -hmm. so nice and now i think it's because we got older and the kids that lived in that neighborhood obviously got older too so the parents are probably not in the spirit anymore to decorate but also everything's so expensive yeah it's so expensive <laughs> i feel like people are like b i'm just gonna put a little spider on my doorbell i just thought of a little story from halloween what so we would go knock in that neighborhood and there's a shit ton of houses we would mm -hmm. literally go like to all of the houses I don't know exactly how this little tradition occurred. I'm going to assume it's just like, just randomly happened. But, tocábamos puerta por puerta. And my mom ran into a little old lady. ¿Te acuerdas oh, de la viejita? Yeah. So, my mom ran into a viejita's house. And that lady had her house like full blown decorated on the outside. And on the inside, you guys, I still remember as a little girl so many like little mini animatronics little collectible muñeco halloween the fuck out like crazy decorated okay inside her house and she would always dress really cute estaba bien viejita la señora like in her 70s bien viejita and she always wore like a cute little halloween vest her little halloween earrings like so adorable and i'm gonna assume my mom probably really liked her little outfit her vibes and one of the Halloweens, my mom was just like, can my kids like take a picture with you? Oh, yeah. And so we took a picture with her. And then the next year we went back to the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Same thing. The viejita full on out. She remembered us. And too. she remembered us because my mom brought the picture. And she's like, look, we took a picture with you last year. Mm -hmm. And she would get all happy, like, oh, my God. And so for a while, we would take a picture with the same viejita mm -hmm. like every Halloween until one day she just wasn't there anymore yeah. we went to go ask for la viejita and she just wasn't i think the house there. wasn't decorated anymore like the the vibes were completely different like ya no estaba decorada i think uh -huh. we didn't even knock no we did that's we how did? we found out que ya no estaba. yeah because i remember it wasn't like decorated anymore and then we ended up knocking and then that's when they told us and we all got really sad yeah we were so sad about halloween because her house was like really really nice de decorated and that year was very, like, dull. Just very, like, quiet yeah. vibes. Oh, but she was so cute. And I know for a fact my mom still has a picture. So I'm going to ask her for the pictures. Because mm -hmm. so, they're so cute. Yeah. But the neighborhood was really cool. And it was, like, a little mind fuck to me where I was like, ew, oh, my God. Imagine, like, us. Ew. Was just like, we definitely met Alex before we met Alex. 
<laughs> before he was like, hey, bitch, give yeah. me candy. He probably threw candies at us like, get the fuck out of here. Y'all with hoes. He's like, shh. But his sister was like, that's your fucking outfit. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, me and Alex were probably the same age. So we were like, nuke nah. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys all dressed as the same thing? Yeah, we all fall. <laughs> <laughs> In the lawn? Yeah, no, but that's like a crazy little like mind fuck moment where I was like, I wish he would have fallen in love with me back then. Babe, he as we're like two did. years old. No, he probably did. He probably opened the door and saw this like older girl. And he's like, God oh, damn, mommy. Babe, he all saw me. <laughs> he said it to you. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah. No, but that's like one of those moments where like it really is a mind fuck. I always think about that a lot. I always think fuck. about like who you've crossed paths with you, yeah, like, from, you know, like, your present. Yeah, you know that one saying when they're, like, you meet, sometimes you meet your, like, destined soulmate without knowing. You've, yeah. like, met them in the past. Or I've seen some even, like, on TikTok where people will post a picture where, like, say, say like, you took a picture at a park and then, like, your soulmate was in the back. Like, <gasps> yes. Nothing. I was like, ew, that's so creepy. I saw one of a girl saying that she met her boyfriend in college. They were looking through each other's pictures and they were in the same kindergarten class. Oh, you see shit and like that. And she was like, what the fuck? She's like, I don't remember you. Yeah. That's fucking weird. Like things like that are like crazy. Were you in my kindergarten class, man? He was at an all white school. Oh, Alex. yeah. He was at a <laughs> Christian school. I love how we're just roasting him this whole time. <laughs> and he's like, not even. <laughs> he doesn't even get a mic to defend himself. <laughs> no, I actually saw a comment that was like, y'all should give Alex a mic on the side so he can like comment whenever he wants. I'm sorry, man. We'll <laughs> stop. <laughs> Alex is like, I'm literally just sitting here waiting for you guys to finish. Poor man. <laughs> he always makes an appearance every episode. <laughs> he like does, but doesn't. Um, so what are you looking forward to this Halloween? Hmm. Uh, getting drank. <laughs> that for sure. <laughs> um, definitely <laughs> looking forward to a Halloween party. And I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of lazy to get ready. <gasps> yeah, I'm well, usually, you've already gotten ready like a few times. Yeah, I'm usually super excited and I have hella costumes, but I feel like every single time this year, Medio flojera to get ready. And, oh, my God, I feel you on those vibes. Every year, I feel like I go all out for uh -huh. Halloween. This year, I lagged it so hard. I got over it. I didn't even decorate the inside of my house. Oh, you didn't? Because I was like, yeah, pa' qué? Yeah, for real. I was like, qué pinche flojera. Yeah, I don't know why I got like this. Well, no, I feel like I know why. I think my party with Dows definitely took a lot of my energy uh -huh. away. Not that it took my energy away for, like, a bad reason, but it's just, like... Me and Dows put so much into that party behind the scenes. And there was so much talking to people, like, even just to, like, get me and Dows put together for that, for our costumes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It was, like, such a mission. There was, um like, one, two, there was, like, fucking ten people involved God for damn. just to get the look together. And there was so many different fittings. I had to go to L.A. quite a few times. Oh, yeah. um, a lot of people don't know this either, that me and Dows got ready twice. So, what do you mean? <gasps> An exclusive. <laughs> I know it's just a lot of people think it was the same day. So we actually took our Instagram pictures oh, yeah. like a week before. And then we redid it again for the party. And then the first day to get ready, like fully ready, like outfit, body paint, wig and everything. It took six hours just to get ready. For the pictures? Uh-huh. And then it was four hours of just shooting. So video and pictures. God damn. So that our first day was a total of 10 hours just for the pictures. And we were like, hey. I would be over it too. Yeah. And then the second day, it was a total. We thought it was going to be faster. and ended up taking it up longer. So the second day, it took us, I think, six hours to get ready. God damn. We started at 2.30 p.m. And we got to our party at like almost 10 oh my right? god you One, guys One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. yeah it took it took forever sense. which i mean it was worth it but it was tiring and i think what took the longest was the body paint yeah when me and dallas planned this look we didn't think about like having to get our body paint done twice and uh, it was it like spray paint vibes mm -hmm. oh my god that's so cool it was spray paint yeah, so it was like Kss. but yeah it was really time consuming and i think um everything and then all, we also like separate days we like went to go look at the venue and like 
So that's what I'm saying. It was all for fun and great, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It was, like, literally such a fun party. But I think all of my my personal time and energy went to that party <laughs> that I was like, I'm over it. Yeah, yeah. Que ya yeah. pasa pinche Halloween. Yeah, because if you guys have seen me, like, the previous years, I go full out for my costumes. I like to get custom outfits. I like to do pelucas and yeah, everything. Yeah, I think my favorite one that's embedded in my head that mm. I'm, like, obsessed with forever, your Lady Gaga one. Oh, oh yeah the jail one yeah, yeah. i love that, I love that one. one too feel like you went like so all out uh-huh. and like the just the scenery it literally mm. looked like her music video the, the where i was like in the jail cell yeah, yeah. i just oh i loved it yeah that, that one was, was pro- definitely one of my favorites and then the kylie one's definitely one of my favorites oh my god i forgot about the kylie one yeah and then this year i did kim kardashian kim kardashian yeah but i thought those, it was just a morph doll it is like? yeah, just kidding. <laughs> no they're, they're really fun but i feel like for that reason this year i was just kind of like lazy for <laughs> te, te, te cansaste. that makes yeah, sense though but how was it washing off the paint um the first day was super easy because we use water based paint okay so dude i was scared i was like fuck i'm gonna be in the shower for like another five hours yeah me lo quería quitar. and i got home and i literally just went in like the shower and it all just started coming off like water oh, nice. i was like ah <gasps> but what did take it took me longer to take off my my face makeup than the body uh-huh but then after the party, my dumbass got really drunk. So I fell asleep with <gasps> the fucking body paint on. So my whole bed was purple. Oh, my gosh. And then that one took forever because for the party, we used um, alcohol base. Pa que me durara mas. Ended up still coming off at the party, I remember? Know, like, had little all lines. of it was, like, gone. I had some, but he's like, he was like, what happened to my fucking makeup? <laughs> like, it was just, like, little blotchy patchy Literally, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and even then, after I sweat it, like, almost all of it off. Um, it took like three days for it to like completely come off my body. Bitch, you were all purple. Yeah, like just like patches in certain areas. I was like, <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so it definitely took longer to come off. But yeah, I think Dow's too because he couldn't reach his back. <laughs> I think I saw him like two days or a day later and he like turns around and he shows me his back. He's like, bitch, I don't reach back there. <laughs> like, his whole back was like red. <laughs> all right, you guys, you know that designer bags are really expensive and I worked really, really hard to be able to get my designer bags and I want to make sure that they always look and stay looking super, super nice. So I am so happy that I found Cure. Cure is the ultimate solution for protecting and preserving my purse collection, ensuring they stay beautiful and they last forever. Okay, so if you guys are like me, you love to keep your shoes clean or like any nice piece of clothing that you have, you just want to keep it in like the best condition, our car. So why not do that with our handbags? Our handbags are literally an investment and don't you want them to last forever? And with Cure, you can make them last a lifetime. Plus, if you ever decide to resell, Cure helps keep your bags in perfect condition so you can get top dollar. In today's world where overconsumption is a big issue, it's crucial to make things last as long as possible. By taking care of our handbags with Cure, we can do just that. There's a limited supply available, so head to mycure.com to get your leather care kit today. That's M Y C U I R E.com, the best way to make your handbag last forever. The days might be getting shorter, but the action on DraftKings Casino is here to stay. Play hundreds of games for endless excitement. Try your hand at classic table games or set the slots on fire with fan favorites like Cash Eruption. New players can play just five bucks and get 50 instantly in casino credits. Download the DraftKings Casino app and sign up with code PRETTY. Then press play on your favorite games to join the fun. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One offer per new casino customer. Casino credits are non-withdrawable and expire in 168 hours. Terms at casino.draftkings.com slash get50. Ends November 24th, 2024. <laughs> but, yeah. What are you looking the most forward to? For it to be over. Yeah. <laughs> For, um, um, I just feel like, I just kind of like 
my kids reaction and their experience mm-hmm. so like i said i'm a little bummed out because last year there was barely any people in my neighborhood because i just moved to a new neighborhood right uh-huh. i've been living there for about a year now and estaba seca like there was nobody walking around and the only people that would have come were like teenagers and mm-hmm. i'm like oh so they this neighborhood is full of older kids like the kids are grown oh. up and they're older kids now there's not that many little kids running around you Makes know sense. So I think I'm going to get together with my mommy friends this year and they probably have areas where we can go trick or treat. Cute. But yeah, I think that's what I look forward to. Just my kids and their reactions and spending time with them, the little costumes. I didn't think about that. Like kids grow up. So there's definitely neighborhoods that are more like than like other ones because. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I don't know why I always thought there's going to be kids no matter what. But some people like, for example, if you're like in your neighborhood and my neighborhood, it's very much like forever home vibes mm-hmm. so it's like si ya crecieron, ya crecieron y ya. and well my neighborhood is um everybody that's lived there they're like the main homeowners mm-hmm. i'm the newest homeowner so i just got here with my fresh kids like fresh house y todo ellos ya llevan viviendo ahí muchos años mm-hmm. so for them like they already had their life they already like their kids are already older and i'm just starting so i'm like move out Ah, ah, let the new families come in. <laughs> like, yeah. No, and in my neighborhood, there's still a lot of kids. Oh, that's good. Because yeah. yours is a newer one, right? Or no? What? My neighborhood? Uh-huh. No. Like my neighborhood's like been same, there for a while. Same time as me, maybe? Yeah, but I definitely saw a lot of kids last. Not like hella, like when me and you would trigger treat. Uh-huh. There was just a few more kids. Because I remember last year, I didn't decorate for shit. Because <laughs> I never really like, decorated before. And I saw a few kids like on my little uh, camera, people like knocking, like, hey, and I was like, Bleh. I was trying to hide because I didn't huh? have candies. Yeah. So that's why I decorated this year because I was, I felt bad for like the few kids that did come. I was like, oh, and like it would make me more sad that they would knock even though I didn't have decor. Mm. So I was like, they're probably just like, please. They're desperate candy. for candy. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, please. Yeah. I'll definitely be giving out candy this year before I step out. Are you going to give out candy or leave a bucket? outside um i'm gonna give out candy for a cute minute and then if i'm gonna like leave to my pachanga and i feel like there's still kids coming i'm gonna leave a bucket you should wear this costume <gasps> yeah, uh, no, gives out scared. Candy. Like, Boo. um i forgot i have a fun fact oh yeah your fun fucking idiotic fact of the fucking <laughs> century <laughs> okay so these are sickening they're halloween fun facts uh, fun facts should be the sad fact <laughs> did you know so I was a little curious as to how Halloween started or what the vibes were. I'm um, like, who the fuck was like, let's go trick or treating. And it says, according to Google, it says that trick or treating may have originated in Canada in the mm. early 1900s. So we've been trick or treating for over 100 years old as a way to deter pranksters. Wait, what? To, I think to like make pranksters go away or like confuse them. And it says, it may also have come from an ancient practice called souling, where children would go door to door begging for food and money in exchange for praying for the souls of the departed. Ah, he doesn't get it. Mm -mm. That was too many big words. So basically, it's just saying that it comes from something called souling, where back in the day, little kids would go knock to people's houses and they'd be like, hey, I know you just had somebody who died, your departed. Do you want me to pray for them? If you want me to pray for them, can I have some money? Oh. Yeah. And so they'd probably be like, here you go. Pray for my departed. And then another one that I liked, I like this one a lot. It said that finding a spider on Halloween night is good luck. Ew. It says in many cultures, spiders can be considered a sign of wealth and prosperity. Finding one on Halloween could mean that a loved one is watching over you. I was like, ooh, I like that one. But why in a scary form? Ah, they're like, <laughs> hey, no, man, a big old fucking tarantula comes out. I don't know. Like, well, you know how black cats are bad luck? Spiders are good luck. No, black cats aren't bad luck. That's what they I'm going to clear that up here now. Really? That is a misconception. It's a myth. I'm going to give you guys a sad fact. <gasps> so I've seen this everywhere. Did you know that? Unfortunately, the number of black cats that are killed <gasps> always rises on the 31st of October <gasps> or around that date because of the misconception that black cats are bad luck. 
So a lot of people will like see them and just be like, oh my God, bad luck. So then people will kill them. Well, you know why people thought they were bad luck? Because of you. Uh, All right. They thought they were bad luck because back then in the Salem witch trials, it was said that witches would turn into black cats to hide themselves. Mm. So they thought they were brujas. So, so they probably s- still think they're brujas. Yeah, I think now it's just been so many years that people like associate black cats with bad luck. But mm. if you guys see a black kitty, leave them alone. Give them a cash. <laughs> Take them with I you. think black cats are so cute. Mm. And they usually always have really big green eyes. Yeah. So I thought they're cute. So no los maten, eh? Leave them alone. Because it's a witch and it's going to come for you. <laughs> for real. But all this talk about... Mother! <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> That's why my face is all white. <laughs> no, all this talk about like death and stuff. And I know we briefly touched on it on the episode with my parents, but Dia de los Muertos is coming up. Uh-huh. Pretty sure it's on November 1st and the 2nd, right? Mm-hmm. And. Like little goosebumps. Uh, I need a poop. <laughs> <laughs> For me and Yoatsi, uh, we're talking about setting up. An ofrenda this year. Yes. And forgive me if I say anything wrong or incorrect. But personally, I'm not going to speak for you, Atsi. I feel like I don't know too much about Dia de los Muertos when it comes to like setting up ofrendas or how it's done properly. Mm -hmm. Because in our family, we never really did that. I think our family in Mexico does it, but like I was gonna I, say, like in our family, yeah, no, we've because never done it. knock on wood, but that's because um, we've always had like a smaller family. We've never really been like a huge family, mm-hmm. especially like my parents coming out here. They didn't have all of their family family, so <clears throat> it wasn't until like we were older that me and you had to experience like the first passing in our family. And before that, I feel like we never, you know, thought about doing an ofrenda or something like that because we hadn't experienced the passing. Yeah. And I think as we got older, um, we don't really talk so much about the people who have passed in our lives now. Not because we're trying to ignore them, but because it's, I feel like it's very hard for all of us. It's not, like a touchy subject. Yeah, like all of, no, I don't think any of us are really good at speaking about our feelings. The one who is, I want to say is Yuatsi. I think you're <gasps> I, like the best at like expressing how you feel. And like when you have like, you, you know, you say you have dreams about our grandparents a lot. Mm-hmm. Or she'll tell my parents or us. And like she speaks on it as like, you know, a way that where she shows like how she feels. Mm-hmm. But like in a nice, in a cute way. But I feel like for the rest of us, it's a little hard. So we never really talk about it. And I think that's led us to not know how to bring up something like setting up an ofrenda. Because we don't know. I personally, for me, I don't know how. I don't want to bring unwanted feelings to my parents. Yeah. And, and I, I totally feel you on that. Because I can. It's not that it's uncomfortable. It's just like you said. It just doesn't. You don't want to bring up any feelings of sadness you know and even though i feel like ofrendas are such a beautiful thing i feel like it might make them remember that they're not here and make them sad yeah like i'm saying it's nothing bad to bring up those feelings but i'm saying i think you and i are a little bit like scared Mm -hmm. because i feel like my parents never fully felt comfortable to express Mm -hmm. like their emotional sides in front of us like they're sad emotional so again like we don't know how to do it without i don't know i I don't want them to feel like you're bringing up feelings that i didn't want to feel but then in a way i see it as like well this should be a sign that you know you should feel comfortable enough to open up yeah and i know i still want to do it this year me too and i know louis said he wanted to so we might what um why do you think why no why but i want to know what you think why we do this in Mexico. Why it's like a tradition. Dia de los Muertos? Uh-huh. Um, from what I think I know, you set up uh, an From ofrenda. watching Coco. Oh, yeah. Well, basically, <laughs> Coco. Well, basically, yeah. You yeah. you set up an ofrenda as a way to welcome past loved ones. 
bag and i think the candle is supposed to help them find their way to you mm -hmm. and then people set up like some of their favorite dishes or like music and things just so it's like a remembering them for who they were and allows them to come back and visit you yeah and the coco movie made me really sad oh, because because i've always i've always known that that's kind of like the meaning of it of mm -hmm. like why you do it But then I, it made me sad when, like, they put that perspective of the people who don't get ofrendas. And they can't cross. Yeah. Oh. And where they're just, like, eventually, quote, unquote, forgotten about. <gasps> yeah. And I was just like, oh, okay, damn, again. I know, me too. It definitely, like, made me sad seeing all that. And I don't know. I was like, oh, I don't want our family or any of our past loved ones to think that. We forgot them. We forgot them. But it's just, I don't know. We never, we've never done it. Yeah, but I think it's such a beautiful tradition, and I love that. It's part of my culture, Mexican mm -hmm. culture. I think it's so beautiful just how they set up, like, the ofrendas, and, like, they'll put their foods or just filled and with it's flowers. So pretty too. It's literally so beautiful, so pretty. So I feel like I've always wanted to do it, but same thing, just bringing up. I don't want to bring up those feelings, you know, but mm -hmm. I think... My parents would be like, oh, my God, like, look at what they did. Or, yeah. like, they went out of their way to do this, you know. So let me know if you decide to do it. Yeah. I, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. And then also, Louis didn't know, but I was, I saw that the 27th is for doggies. Yeah, for I pets. thought it was all on the same day. I'm still doing it. You should it. still do care. it. You should still do it. But I guess, like, specifically the 27th is for for um animals and then uh, oh i i, I want to look it up because i don't want to get it wrong but i think the first is for like infants and little kids oh i better check and then the second is for adults did you check yeah so what it says online it just says that it's celebrated the first and the second of november it's a two-day thing mm -hmm. but um yeah from what i remember the first is for like little kids and like infants And then the second one is for, like, all other loved ones. Mm -hmm. But overall, it's just a celebration of honoring our our family members that have passed. And it's such a beautiful tradition. When I was in Mexico, I don't know if I shared this already. I don't think I did. When I was in Mexico, um, I went to my grandparents' house on my dad's side. And I thought it was really cute. And I definitely want to do this in my home. But again, I just don't really know how to do it without making my parents emotional mm -hmm. but um my tia she has it almost it's almost like an altar mm -hmm. almost yeah, like al an como altar. si fuera una ofrenda but it's just pictures of our grandparents and then our parents grandparents and it's just Aww, like a bunch of cute. like cute pictures like that and it made me like really happy to see it and i was like you know i want to have something like that in my house um because i mean the first time that i've kind of done something like that we ever got to look like this <laughs> i <laughs> looked at this day and i was like oh. <laughs> like am i dying right now i know, i was like it's my turn <laughs> oh i fell hold on andele <laughs> yo también am muerta i'm like <gasps> <laughs> wait so what was i saying oh the the first kind of time that i've done this and i think this is what added on to my fear of like bringing up those feelings with my parents is i did it for ruby and well our our doggy that passed and every time i'd see her and it's not even like a, a picture it's a painting that i got made of her but it oh, looks yeah. so identical so realistic so realistic and um every time i'd pass by i'd get really emotional in a sad way but now i like i look at it as like a really like a really beautiful memory of her mm -hmm. but Yeah, so when I thought about, like, doing the ofrenda, I was like, oh, I, was like, I don't know if it's going to bring unwanted feelings. You know what? Maybe it won't because, um, so my grandpa, my dad's dad, passed away a few years back. And um, I had pictures of him with Travis. Mm -hmm. Travis was little, so he, he got to hold Travis. Yeah. I and I that. printed a few of the pictures and Travis ended up finding the pictures. Mm. And he was like, oh, mommy, like, who's this? And I told him, I was like, oh, that's our grandpa. That was my grandpa, your great grandpa. And then Travis just really wanted to display the pictures. Aww. So that's why um, there's pictures of Travis and my grandpa, like all over my house. Like I have them in fridge. the fridge. I have them where I have pictures. 
And at first, I know my dad did get like a little sad. Oh, really? He brought it up. He's like, oh, like, que bonita foto. But I saw that mm. he like got sad. But I think he got happy seeing the pictures everywhere, you yeah. know? And I and I think he was like appreciative that I still was like, I'm going to put them everywhere. Like, yeah. okay. So maybe they'll feel the same way. Like they will get maybe a little bit emotional, but they'll be like, oh, like, thank you guys. I, I hope. I have <laughs> I hope. What is that? Huh? Oh, there's a schedule. I found October 27th pets that have passed away and remembered from dogs and cats to reptiles, birds and small mammals. So all I'm animals. still doing it. I don't care. October 28th. This day is dedicated to those who died violently <gasps> in accidents or acts of crime. October 30th and 31st. The, the altar is set up for children who died without being baptized and for those who didn't get to be born. Oh, November 1st, All Saints Day, dedicated to children who have passed away. Oh. November 2nd, All Souls Day, when the adults who have passed are remembered. And then November 3rd, offerings are taken down on this day, which is known as a date to take down the altar. <gasps> what happens if you don't take it down? Nothing, but I think it's just like, all right, yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving it. How we leave it for the whole year. <laughs> for real. It's just, I think it's just like the tradition. You know, oh, that's okay, just okay. that's cute though. I didn't know it started the twenty seventh. I thought it was just the first and the second. I'm sad. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, sorry, off topic, but it's because Meg got me this little squishy. <laughs> Look, it looks exactly like honey. Like it looks like he printed a picture of her. Literally, we saw <laughs> it, and he was just like, "Look!" And I was like, "Honey!" Like I'll never forget it. One time we went shopping with Louis, and um. We walked into a store and they had some furry slippers that looked like Honey's hair. <laughs> Just like full on Honey's hair. Like if they shaved her <laughs> off and made slippers. And Louis sees them and he's like, oh, he's like, mama. I was like, no, I went up to the shoe. <laughs> and I was like, mama. <laughs> <laughs> like it was Honey. Because it had it looked like her hair. <laughs> and I started cracking the fuck up. I was like, Honey got made into a shoe. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, it looks like mama. Let me see it. Like. That's literally honey, <laughs> guys. I hope you can see this. No, it's also it's funny also because um, every time I go out and I see like a palm, I talk to them the way that I talk to honey, <laughs> and it's it's funny because like um, I'm sure any dog will turn with that the noise because it's like really high pitched. Uh -huh. But like recently we were in Monterey and there was this dog that looks exactly like Milky, like literally copy and paste and from afar. I was like, Maya, it's Milky. So then I go Milky. The dogs are like <laughs> <laughs> So then it's cute to see other dogs react the way that they react. Remember for a while um Adam was copying you calling um honey? Oh yeah. What was what he, he saying? Say? He's like, Mama, come here, Mama. Yeah, come oh, yeah. here, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> and then he turned it into sounding like the, the Grinch. Grinch. <laughs> He's like, I hate Christmas. We need to bring him back just to make that noise. Like, oh, Poor Adam. Yeah, yeah, he's like, uh, make me a third hose. <laughs> I know. We're going to have like a little sound effect that's all of his like little. And <laughs> we just click it. <laughs> so he can be here. When well, we miss Adam, we're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> For real. But what, what were we talking about? The Dia de los Muertos. Were they going to do it or not? Yes. So I definitely will be doing it. And um, I'll be posting how it looks. I've never set up an ofrenda. So I'm going to try my best to make it look cute. Yeah, do it. And you can always, that's a good thing. You can always get little inspo pics from Etsy. I mean, Pinterest, Etsy. Or Bitch. you can buy little things on Amazon overnighting. Yeah. Well, that's if there's still things and it's already wrapping it. I know they're all ending and you're barely starting. I know. But we learned something new. So for next year, we'll start setting up since like the 20th. Yeah. I like I like decorating and setting things up and having them up for a while. Mm -hmm. Talking about setting up and all that. Christmas is coming up. <gasps> and yes, I'm going to talk about it now because technically today is the last day of Halloween. Yeah, so go get, pinche Halloween, yeah. yeah, go get your candies, go dress up, trade candies with your siblings. But Christmas is coming up and I'm so excited. Uh, me too. I'm so excited. It's also almost my birthday. I know. Uh, fuck that. No, it's almost YOA and Andrea's, Andrea's birthday. birthday. 
These last few months are always so stressful. Yeah, literally the last couple months of the year for the Castro family is so hectic. We have so many birthdays starting immediately on October 1st. Well, starting October. No, because my dad is October 10. Yeah, no, for me, it starts October 1st with my friends. October 1st. All of my friends and family are the last three months. Pretty much all of my friends and family. (gasps) So starting October 1st and then all of November. And then we also have Thanksgiving and then we have Halloween. And then I usually go a lot for Halloween. So then I have more shit. And then a lot of events happening. And then in December, all of December is just Christmas. (laughs) And then literally it's so depressing. Like as soon as January comes, it's nothing. I know. It's fucking boring. And we're like, nice. Now, but now we have to wait again until the next year. We're like, how boring. No, we wait for February. I don't believe enough. Ah, Ah, bitch. You don't celebrate. He didn't catch that. He did. He was like, yes. Uh, he's like neither do i <laughs> um i have a little inside scoop and i've never told anybody and i'm gonna tell you guys now uh we hate each other i'm turning 50. louis how old am i turning let me tell y'all something let me tell you something because after today's episode going live my birthday will be in exactly four days i am the worst with birthdays and birth years you've known me my whole life if you don't get my fucking birthday right i swear to god november 4th hey. 1995 wow yeah. Ceci so she is uh, she eight no she's 42 Bitch. <laughs> no, no. I was like, huh? so you are turning 29 i am Woo! i want that one no it's yeah. the la it's the last time <gasps> I'll be, I will be turning twenty something. Oh, that's scary. I don't like that. You're gonna look like that in real life. <laughs> <laughs> the moment I'm gonna wake up on my birthday, bed. <laughs> oh my god, I'm twenty nine. That's exciting. That is not exciting. It is. I'm just scared. <laughs> For I'm what? Getting wrinkly. <laughs> Man, she's got a face lean. I know. <laughs> no, literally. Have you seen those videos of the girls that like go out of the country to get a facelift? They look all scary. I was telling me, uh, we were like scrolling, and I was like, I don't care what happens. I'm getting a facelift when I'm like 50. <laughs> I am not getting old. <laughs> me I don't too. care. I don't care. I'm never getting old. Fuck that. Even if I don't have money, All right, <laughs> I do it myself. I'll figure it out. I'll be like, <laughs> but they look scary, you guys, porque I heard that, like, every facelift, it's going to look really scary as soon as you get it done. Like, at first, Because right? you have to wait for, the like, the face to, like, settle in and, like, start drooping and stuff. And it's all swollen and shit. Yeah, but that's... But I even, I do want to go when I'm older, but um not like that crazy. I still want to look old. Like, I want to look my age. I <gasps> don't know. Like, I want to look like... I, I look really good for my age. Ah. But I don't want to look all fucking like baby just came out of the womb. Because, I mean, that not that it looks bad, but like on some people like. Because look, here's the thing. Some people like it doesn't match their hands. No one like oh really my talks God, Louis, about we that. We should put sunscreen on our hands. Because mm-hmm. a lot of bitch, my hands are like. I'm just not going to do anything. I'll just walk around like this so they don't wrinkle. Maybe, <laughs> like. Oh my. Oh my. But um, yeah, so a lot of people say that what gives it away is people's hands. So I, I guess that's how and you our, can always necks, tell. Uh huh. That's can you. That's how you can always tell when someone got like a facelift if their face is like oh, <laughs> and then you look at their hands and their neck. They're all brujas in their hands, like and their chichis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just kidding. I'm gonna get those done too. Bitch. Then you just stretch all my skin. They just tie <laughs> to the back of my head. <laughs> you Have just, you seen fucking um uh, Men in Black? Yes. When the alien guy in the first movie, he's all his skin's all loose and he's like, Oh yeah, I kind of do remember that. She's like, the lady's like, your skin is like coming off your bones, and then he grabs his fucking skin. Oh pulls yeah, it like, yeah better. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be me. You just have a big old chongo in the back, in the back holding up my skin. <laughs> For real. I for oh I forgot to tell you guys my my deep secret. Oh yeah yeah yeah. <sighs> Nobody knows, but I'm going to say it out loud and put it out in the universe so you guys and you make sure it happens. Is it for the following year? Yes. Because I feel like my dumbass, you know how I say things and then I don't do it? I flake? Yeah. I feel like I'm going to pussy out and I'm going to flake. Yeah. So don't let me flake. eh? Yeah. Can you pay for it too? Bitch. (laughs) Imagine I said yeah. I'm going to have a treintañera. I don't give a fuck. No, if she doesn't do it, you guys, let's all get together and cancel her. Yes, please cancel me if I don't do it. <laughs> because you know what? I I I I, I didn't have a quinceañera growing up. 
never got to experience it. And then I got um, inspo from Louie. So Louie had his quinceañera a few years ago. I did. How old were you turning when you had it? 12. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I was turning 22. 22. Yeah. And fuck him. He was just like no specific age. He was just yeah. like, I'm going to just throw myself a quinceanera. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. Like, always wanting one. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I've always wanted one too. But obviously my parents couldn't afford it. And like, I don't hold it against them. I'm good, but it's fine. Yeah. But I'm like, now that I have adult money, I can throw myself one. It's sickening. And what another like better way when else to do it than to do it on my fucking 30th, 30th. birthday. I'm saying bye to like my... My teenage young years. I'm going to be a senora full time <sighs> now. So we're going to go out with a bang. So you're going to do a whole dress and everything. Yes. I want to do like the homies. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, <laughs> the padre is like, babe. I know. He's like, get the. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to have like my damas, my chambelanes. I even want to have a whole choreographed dance. I want to fuera. I want to have. Like father daughter moment. I want to do like go all out with the salon and todo. Make sure you guys tell her that it takes a long time to plan those things. That's why I'm putting it on the universe because I'm about to turn 29. Um, so I give myself that whole year to plan it. You better start booking, eh? I'm probably going to wait like three months before, but it's not even the week before, maybe. But I oh, think over. I have time because I think I've been like doing math and stuff. I think I'm going to throw my quinceanera. January, so like two months after my thirtieth birthday. Oh, I thought you meant like like this January, coming. January. This coming. <laughs> like, bitch. No, next year it'll be like in twenty twenty six, January twenty twenty six, because the holiday times are way too motherfucking hectic. I'm not about to have a quinceañera in November, December, oh. October. Fuck that. Unless right. I'm gonna do Nightmare Before Christmas vibes, and I'm not trying For to do that. Real. So, so yeah, I just filled my secret. I've always thought about that with quinceañeras. I'd be impatient as fuck, like for the OG quinceañeras. Like when you're 15? Yeah, most of the girls always have the quinceañeras after their birthdays. Uh huh. And I'm always like, oh, I'd be so fucking impatient. Like, it's already my birthday. Just fucking do like, it. I right just want to do it. But I feel like most of the time it's like that because you got to book the salon and shit. You know? oh, oh, yeah. You have and to, like, you have to book everything like way ahead of time. Sometimes things don't align and it always ends up having to be like way down the road. Yeah. But yeah, that's sickening. And I remember when I when I was turning 15, my parents asked me when I was 14 and they're like, hey, are you going to want a quinceañera? Because it takes about a year to plan it. <gasps> oh, shit. I I this. Sorry. Uh-huh. And then um, I couldn't make up my mind for the longest time. And my mom was like, you have to tell me soon because I need a whole year to plan it. And then I just I don't know. I feel like at the time it, the party wasn't going to be necessarily for me. I felt like it was going to be for other people. Mm. No, sis. So something wasn't sitting right with me. And I knew how expensive that shit was going to be. And also, I didn't really have a lot of friends. I was going to say, we weren't really close to family. Either. Yeah. So I was like, who the fuck's going to go? And I was like, nah, fuck that. So I was yeah. like, give me money. <laughs> yeah. So my parents give me money. I feel like we've always been a little bit more like to ourselves. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that was always like the fear. Like, who's going to go? Yeah. I was like, no, nobody's going to come. You're going to throw like a small ass kins in. <laughs> Nobody still <laughs> comes to my thing. <laughs> no, no, it's even just go. us. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not going. But damn, no quinceañeras are fucking expensive. You guys like I've, I was in so many quinceañeras in high school and like, I would just hear how much they were. And I was like, Ugh. and like the way that the parents like, go all out for their kids yeah but thankfully i know a lot of quinceañeras are done with like family support like i was gonna say los padrinos everyone's like pitching in and shit like pitching in so if you want to be a madrina let me know Ah, (laughs) you'll make me the honor (laughs) (laughs) he's all the he's my mom i'm like my mom's got it (laughs) my dad's got it like a wig (laughs) (laughs) he's all my child (laughs) (laughs) for real (laughs) like hey baby Hey, baby no 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 i'm not paying for that no that's just expensive but he did say he's paying for alas hard have to fucking save us when the llegue la pinche que señor he's like ya no tengo dinero <laughs> 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 so sorry like, sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> you should have started making wishes <laughs> you should have gone to work <laughs> <laughs> yeah if Ella wants to quinceañera I'll probably just like move out of the country <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> just kidding you leave to Mexico you're like I'm okay <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if my daughter's gonna want quinceañera she's having one I don't care if she doesn't want one or Travis a quinceañero or no for guys isn't a sixteenero or some shit He'll probably want a sweet 16. I think it's usually for guys like sweet 16. Actually, no. I've seen a lot of guys do quinceañeras now. Yeah, huh? Yeah, I've seen a lot of guys. Well, if he wants one, he'll get one. Yeah, maybe that's in two years. (gasps) No, he's eight. That's in... (gasps) 
Like eight years. That's something else that just happened. Travis's birthday just passed. He just turned eight. That's fucking crazy. So many birthdays. I've been a mom for eight years. I know. That's exciting, though. He oh. loves his birthdays on October. Uh, he does because he loves going like all out for Halloween vibes. This year, I don't know if you noticed, but he's like obsessed with the killer clowns. Is he? He's so obsessed. He got all scared. <laughs> you know, he finally opened the toy because he didn't know what it was. <laughs> I got so he's obsessed with killer clowns from outer space. I don't know why, guys, but he's just like obsessed. I don't know how that movie came back. He loves it so much, and he kept asking for killer clown toys. There's only so many I could find because that movie is so freaking old. I ended up finding a killer clowns from outer space puppet <laughs> on Amazon, and I'm not going to lie. That shit's fucking scary looking. That shit is scary. It looks fucking scary, and his favorite killer clown is Shorty, and that's who it was, Shorty. So I was like, oh, my God, it's perfect. He's going to love it. He opens it up, and he's like, oh, like what is yeah he's this? like what is this mommy and i was and like, I was like he's puppet, scared baby. and then he's like it's a little scary <laughs> <laughs> it's because she gave him so many things from the movie she got him like a lunch box a water like bottle and like stickers like all this shit and he was so happy he was like yeah yeah he loved it he finally started like, pinche mono and he was like <laughs> and i was like thought you like them and he was like a little scary yeah. <laughs> and, I was like, Bitch. and he like put it to the side kind of like ignored yeah. it and then i think yesterday he was finally like fuck it, i'm gonna open it he opened it and it's a really cool puppet from the back you control it and it like punches it goes poof, 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 like that so now he's obsessed with it and he doesn't want to let it go fuck just that. carries it everywhere even it's i don't want to so look creepy. at that puppet. he's so fucking creepy I was like, no thanks so comment down below moms if your kids are into fucking weird shit because my son is definitely into i don't think i was ever into like scary shit like that but travis for some reason is like really into like scary things. halloween or just yeah, stuff like, that looks scary but you know what i think it's a lot of kids not just travis because youtube promotes mm -hmm. a lot of this stuff like for example uh poppy playtime freaking have you seen that blue monillo it's a blue mono oh his yeah teeth are like i was almost him for halloween his name is huggy wuggy yeah they promote the shit out of those monos that travis was in love he's like i want huggy wuggy mississippi and lippy dippy and like all these <laughs> pinche monillos and then they also started promoting killer clowns and freddy nightmare and all those fucking scary ass monillos back then we just had chucky yeah and polly pocket they're not scary no but i'm saying like as toys oh, and polly pocket and legos and cars yeah they weren't getting creative with all these scary ass toys literally like they are now all right going back to spooky scary skeleton what is there anything that you're scared of that like actually freaks you out dick wait have you noticed that they cut out that scene from white chicks shut up i'm so pissed why so you can't get calluses <laughs> that whole scene is cut out what? at least on netflix when you oh. watch it on netflix and i watched it on hulu that whole scene is just non-existent <gasps> like from the moment that we're braiding our, our vaginas. That's they, gone too? No, they do that whole part. And then they're having the slumber party. And then you know how um one of the, the white chicks is braiding one of the girl's mm -hmm. hair. They do that part. Right after that is when they start talking about the mm -hmm. hey, little guy. They cut that whole part out. And then they just go from when the two cops, the strippers pull in. What? They took it all out. What the heck? Yeah, yeah I have I heard looking of forward them to removing it. like little scenes here and there. That's fucking boring. Boring. But were you asking? Oh wait, what oh, is my scariest thing? Of? Or like what it, what freaks you out? Not a phobia, but like in general, like Halloween theme. Halloween like, theme. Halloween theme. Hmm. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you. <laughs> well, I can't go into mazes. You just went to one though. I know. In May. Because <laughs> he forced me. I'm just kidding. <gasps> uh, well, the whole time, me. the whole time I had my eyes closed and my ears plugged, huh, man? Uh, like, shut up. Yeah, I was like. <sighs> so you don't like jump scares? I don't like jump scares. Um, I'm afraid of. Eh, I was going to say I'm afraid of the dark, but not really. I love sleeping in the dark. Yeah, I'm just, I, I hate jump scares. I don't, I don't like things like, like, I don't know. Just, oh, 
I don't like it. It's not cute. It's not pretty. Or is there like monillos that freak you out? That you're like, ew, I don't want to look at that. Um, I don't think so. Like, I, I mean, I don't like clowns, but it's not like those people who are like, nah! I'm just like, okay, it's scary. <laughs> like, I feel like everything that's like Halloween themed scares me, but not in a way where I'm like, nah! Just jump scares. You're like, I don't fuck with that. Actually, what? I do remember this one time where I went to Halloween Horror Nights and one that I was just like, nah, fuck that. What? Um, there was the, for the movie The Exorcism, <gasps> and I didn't like that one at all. You didn't like the, just, the maze? I just didn't like the idea of, like, an exorcism. Ew, I don't like that. Yeah, like, the girl, either. there was, like, a girl, like, on the bed. I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> I don't like that I don't know, either. just that. That I won't even want to look at. I won't even want to like be around. Those but you saw the movie. What was the it movie? scary? The Exorcist. Uh huh. Yeah, it's scary. I don't like those movies. Yeah, I, I don't really watch, watch them anymore. But I mean, if I do watch them, they do freak me out. They, those are like the movies that linger in my head. That like for a while keep you thinking after, right? Which just scares me. I don't like the idea of that. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. Fucking yeah. freaks me the fuck out. Too. What about you? Um, nothing. <laughs> bitch. Uh, uh, just boring mm, I don't know But you triggered a little memory When I went to we This year we went to Six Flags Fright Fest Me and Alex I have always been a person that oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna cry <laughs> Out of burp um, I have <laughs> I quit Bitch <laughs> I've always liked roller coasters mm -hmm. from like the moment that i can remember i've always fucking liked them and i love the adrenaline connected to it i just love how they make me feel yeah we went to fright fest and i don't know if it was just because it was spooky vibes i don't know what the fuck happened to me but we ended up seeing one of the roller coasters and it was pretty empty it was called like the tutsan or tutsani or something with a t uh -huh. It's a very fucking scary ass roller coaster. But I remember always being able to get on those like nothing. Like, I don't give a fuck what ride. I've never been scared in a ride ever in my life. Yeah. I just love the adrenaline and I love like, ah, I think they're sickening. But for whatever reason, this ride, we were like on it. And then it like completely like lays you down. Like your feet just go like, like this. Oh, that'd be scary. And I was like, okay, like, I'm fine. It's all good. And we start going up, bitch. I look down and we were so high up and it was nighttime. Yeah. I think that's probably did not help. It was nighttime. And I could just see like the very tip top of like the city. And for whatever reason, I literally thought I was going to die. And this <sighs> has never happened to me. But I went into like full anxiety, anxiety, panic attack. And I literally felt like any time now, se iba a abrir el pinche oh, roller coaster and I was going to die. Yeah. And that's never happened to me before. <sighs> and the roller coaster goes super high and it goes in like circles. And it, it was like the worst fucking minute of my life. I never, ever, ever experienced that. And I had a full on panic attack and all I could do was close my eyes. I didn't even want to look. And I just was telling myself like, it's okay. It's going to end soon. It's going to end soon. It's just a roller coaster. It's going to end soon. This has never happened to me before though. Mm. And after I was like shaking and I was like, <sighs> like I couldn't catch my breath. And Alex was like, oh, that was so fun. Bitch. And I was like, <gasps> oh, and I was like, no. I literally felt for like, the first time ever on a roller coaster, I felt like I was going to fucking die. And I was like, after that, I was like, I'm not getting in any more scary rides. <laughs> right? That yeah. shit was so scary. I've always had that feeling with roller coasters. Like, I love them, but that's always crossed my mind. I hate it. I get so scared. That shit was so scary. Especially, you know, with, after seeing that one movie when we were kids, Final Destination. Oh, yeah. Ew, I, hate, I hate that movie with the roller coaster. Yeah. I got traumatized that one song. Roller coaster of love. I don't remember. It's from the movie, bitch. I never rewatched the movie. Again. And every time someone died, they played the song. Yeah, I don't remember that. It's so scary. Talking about movies. What? Have you watched Smile 2? No. <gasps> mm. I want to, but I want to watch the first one. You never watched the first one? Mm -mm, I thought it looked boring. 
uh, I will say, I remember when the first one came out, I thought it was going to be like a really cringy, like scary movie. Yeah, that's what I thought. I feel like recently a lot of like scary movies have been so cringy and so predicting and they're just like yeah. not scary. I feel the vibe. Um, Terrifier to me isn't really scary. It's just really gross gory. and gory. So I wouldn't even... Like, I wouldn't rewatch it, and I wouldn't, like, be like, you know, because it's just too gory yeah. for me. But Smile, oh, my God. I think Smile 2 is even worse, as in scarier, than the first one. It's scary? I forgot about how scary the first one was until I, wa I was watching the second one, and it, like, re-brought memories of the first one. But no, bitch, the second one, you guys... If you guys have the, ch if you guys like scary movies and you have the opportunity to go watch it, I one hundred thousand percent recommend. I'm so sad oh because God. I got invited to like the premiere and the red <gasps> carpet and shit, and I didn't. And go. you didn't go. I was out of town. Boring. But this movie has everything from like jump scares, unpredictable jump scares. Um, it's horror. It's gory, kind of, but not like in a disgustingly bad way. And it has you on the literal edge of your seat. It's been a long time since a movie has had me on the edge of my seat or had me close my eyes. I was like this the whole time. Oh, my God. Especially because... Oh, this. And the ending was so fucking creepy. Like, Yeah? Oh, and this is the other... The other part i forgot it's like a um almost like psychological as well oh i love this. it the whole movie just had me like oh my like when i would finish i was just like what i, I saw watch? the i kept seeing the previews um when i was going to the movies and i was like fuck this movie looks so good mm -hmm. and i think the actress is daphne no from scooby-doo really uh -huh. she's the one from lemonade mouth or never mind i'm probably confusing her but anyway i really liked the preview so i was like fuck i really want to go watch it but Ah, <laughs> este bien pinche He's asleep again, you guys. Bitch, he has, a, I was going to say a napkin, <laughs> a blank. He looks like a cocoon in a blanket. <laughs> and let me just take a picture so we can expose him. <laughs> Our producer, while we're working hard. <laughs> Babe, we're all just talking. I know. <laughs> we're all building a studio. <laughs> in one day, we should just let him sleep and then leave the studio. No, we should let him sleep right here while we talk. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Alex, what are you falling asleep everywhere again? Yeah, I noticed that recently. Why are you falling asleep everywhere, man? He's like. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere, even when he drives. Ah, what were you um, saying though? Smile. Uh, you watch the fucking oh, trailer. I really want to go watch it, but I didn't see the first one, so I was like, nope. I'm I'm the type that I will not watch a second movie if I haven't seen the first. Well, make sure you watch the first one, okay? And then it'll probably be even more satisfying that you can watch the second one immediately. But it made me really excited for the third one. There's gonna be a third. Well, the way that it ended, there has to be. Like, oh, okay. and I think these movies are doing so good that, like, they know to keep it going. But They're like, we have to keep it going. Yeah, and I love that the story. I was also, sometimes I hate when there's, like, a part two and the storyline's almost the same, just different characters and tweaked a little bit. Mm -hmm. But the storyline is obviously has the same thing to do with the first one, but it's, like, so different than the first one. Like, it went more in detail. And it was really scary. Ooh. Ooh, so top horror movies for me so far this year is Long Legs and Smile 2. Oh, yeah, Long Legs. I would, I think I would, oh, I love Long Legs so much, but I think I would put Smile 2 over Long Legs. Okay, I'm going to go watch it. And it was then I'll so tell you my good, results. Yeah. Um, did you hear that Shrek is making another movie? Oh, yeah, stop watching. They're like on Shrek 10. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> No, I think I stopped watching after the second one with the little, I need a hero. Me too, after Far, Far Away. They're good movies, but I think I was just like, got older. But yeah, I, I just got over it. I think a lot of like their fan base is still really into them. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go watch them again because I have Gremlins. Oh, my little catch. yeah. So I'm like, they'll probably like it. Not me. I don't know my cat. <laughs> Put Honey and Milky to watch it. No, they're gonna. They're hate gonna it. love it. I'll just show them one of your YouTube videos. <gasps> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so when are you gonna plan, bitch? <laughs> so when are you planning to take down your Halloween stuff? Where's my veil? You had a veil. Hello. My it's veil. when. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Did the fucking bruja take it? So wearing it. I had a veil. I it never saw cute. a veil. I don't know what happened. 
What? So when do you plan on taking down your Chris Halloween stuff? Tomorrow. <laughs> Beta, <laughs> before Halloween. Well, well technically, technically, as you guys are watching yeah. this, November first. I literally want to take it all the fuck down already. I'm over it, so I could put up Christmas. <laughs> Me too, you guys. Like I'm over it. I'm yeah. taking it off tonight. Yeah. And like you know what? Mm. I just got over the fact that Halloween seemed so long this month. Yeah. I feel like, for example, last October we only got to film four Halloween episodes for Pretty Not Smart. Uh-huh. This year we fucking filmed five. Yes. So I was like, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we forgot that like there was going to be an extra. That's why we were sh- short by one guest. Uh-huh. Now we're here. Uh-huh. We're each other's guests. Yeah. No, but I think I'm going to take mine off the next day right away. I feel like I went more out on my yard than I did on my front lawn. Mm-hmm. But that's because I wanted oh, my whole yeah. front lawn to be like stitch, like for the mo- mocosos vibes. Yeah, and it was hard to like accumulate a lot of stuff. But for next year, I'll definitely try to go a little bit more full out when it comes to more decor. I want my full house to be taken over. Are you gonna like go full full out for Christmas? Like you're gonna decorate yes. the shit out of it? I wanna go like Santa just threw I, up. I, I wanna go. Yeah, I want it to look like Santa just threw up all That's over my house. Fucking and sick. fun fact, actually, the really sad fact, and it is a sad fact. Whoa. I am ninety nine point nine percent sure I'm not doing, doing purple. Vlogmas? Oh, oh that too. Right. You're not doing purple. Yeah, I'm almost ninety nine point nine percent. Hopefully. I what just, are you doing? I'm so over not being able to find fucking purple shit that I'm over and I'm over and I'm over it. And if you're a CEO or co-founder of any store and you don't carry purple, get out. Just Imagine kidding. this is a year. There's so much purple everywhere. Well, I'm a little bit pissed because I went to Home Goods to go look for things for like my new theme. And I saw a purple section. It's still really small, but it is something compared to the last mm. two years and i was like are you shitting me so like yeah, i almost gave into it but i was like no i don't want to go through the stressor these last two christmases were sad for me because i <laughs> wanted it to be a purple wonderland and i can't make it a purple wonderland <laughs> no fucking purple wonderland. so my house besides my tree it never gives me like mm. per- like wait, like christmas yeah so i have another theme in mind so far i'm having bad luck again but I'm pissed because I see this theme every freaking year. And this year, I'm like, are you really shitting me? Like, ahora no hay nada. But I'm going to try to unless stay everyone, Unless everyone copied you and wants to do your theme. No, like this year, I went to two stores already so far. And not and those stores always have that. Yeah. Not even a section. Not even a little splash of it. Today, I went to the TJ Maxx in Corona. Bitch, they had so many Christmas things. Like, they were unloading all their Christmas stuff today. So I was like, oh, damn. Like, everything and anything. I have three themes in mind. One of them will for sure work. Okay. Like, 100 hands down percent, it will work. But the other one that I want to do is the one that I really want to make work. And it's the one that I can't really find. And then purple is obviously still there, but I don't think I'm going to do it. (sighs) Just keep looking. So we'll see, but yeah, I'm on the same boat as you. I think I'm gonna take down my stuff November first. We're so 1st. fucking over. We're like, yeah. I get it. Then. <laughs> I'm just ready for holidays and Christmas, and I'm and really excited. And I am so fucking. Oh, I'm so fucking pissed. I just want to grab a fire extinguisher and extinguish it. What? The sun. Oh. I'm so fucking tired of the heat. Like, I just literally want to grab too. a fucking fire extinguisher and, be like, and like turn it. off the sun. I want to like. Dressed comfy. I want it to be freezing. And like, I can't. no mames. Why that? Like, so yesterday, Alex started building a playground. Oh my God. That his dad bought the kids last year for Christmas. Oh shit. So he's building it a year later. And it's fucking the end of fucking October. And it was like 90 yeah. degrees out. Yeah. I was so mad yesterday. I was literally cussing out like the sky <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I was like, why the fuck is it so fucking hot? Yeah. Like, where is the cold, the fucking Same. rain, the yeah. fog? Like, I'm so over this shit. I was at Escape this weekend, and 
bitch i wore a jacket like a literal like leather jacket and i was like oh i'll be fine i wore like tights like usually i'll wear like mesh and like calzones like full out but i was like i want to be like warm i don't want to be cold because it's been cold it's been the cold last every escapes. single time yeah bitch, i was sweating like literally i was like <gasps> <laughs> i didn't i to tell you i didn't go inside any of the the stages with the tents because <gasps> it was so hot in Ew, there even I though it's imagine. open that i was like outside and i was still like <sighs> But same thing, I went to go eat with Adam and Laura a few days ago. I went in like a cozy outfit. I had sweats and like my little boots. Uh -huh. And Laura was wearing like a hoodie and some sweats and like some Uggs. And Laura was like, Ugh. <laughs> And I was too, bitch. I was like, oh my God, it's fucking hot. Yeah, I feel like everybody's just in the mood to have like little hot chocolate and have like our little cozy outfits. I, yes. Like I want to wear all of my sweats and hoodies. Like that's all I want to wear right, right now. now. But I have to dress like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's to the point where like I know it's finally like winter and it's cold when I have to when I finally get to stop turning on my AC, but my AC is still running right now. Exactly, and it's still at sixty eight. I every miss single having night. my heater on, like yeah. when I'll be like, "Bitch, it is so fucking cold this morning. Let me put up my heater." A oh, just bit. like a little bit. Like, how when you wake up, you're like, dos. "Yeah, cuando estás temblando de pinche friazo." I'm gonna put but my house no, at thirty. We have to put our fucking ACs. <laughs> I know. Or like, me da frío en mi casa, and I'm like, "Yes, it's finally getting cold." Bitch, I go outside. It's like uh, an oven. I know. Like no mames. I'm so over it. But yeah. um, it just sparked something in me. We have to plan a cabin snow trip. I don't give a fuck. We have it's not to. gonna snow this year, baby. <laughs> At this point, At I don't think it's point, gonna fucking snow. We should go to the fucking snow in like March of next year. I think two years ago. Look, th this is how stupid the weather weather is, you guys. Maybe, yeah, it was like two years ago because Ella Wishes was like a baby girl. We took Andrea for her birthday. Her birthday's November 14. We went around those dates mm -hmm. to Lake Tahoe. There was a shit ton of fucking snow, you like, guys. And we were there and it was literally snowing. It was snowing. It was like the perfect vacation. It was beautiful. And then last year that I was like... Let's go to Lake Tahoe again for my birthday for the snow. And I was like, bitch. Like, there's no fucking snow. That week was like 100 in Lake, in Lake Tahoe. Tahoe. We're like, nice. And then this year, it's going to be the same shit. Like, literally, we're at still at the 90 degrees. And your guys' birthday is next week. I feel like the weather, because of climate change, probably. Mm -hmm. But the weather is just like scooting, like shifting. So I feel like we're going to start having our winters in like summer. Because <laughs> our summer wasn't really like summery in this year either until right now. Yeah, it started getting super hot. Like usually I feel like it starts in June, like May, June, but it started like in July. No, bitch, it started in fucking August. Like late July, early August. Yeah, no, I was you're like, right. <gasps> you're right. Yeah. yeah well, everything's <laughs> backed up, but I don't give up. I'm so celebrating backed Christmas. Up. I'm going to put fake fucking snow outside my Me house. Me too. We're, we're like it's snowy here <laughs> we'll make it work we're gonna have um little salt shakers just like automatically shaking salt <laughs> we're, like, <laughs> we're probably gonna um decorate for christmas earlier yes. we're probably gonna do some time in november so this will be the last time that you guys see our haunted Halloween. stuff shout out to you and man for putting this together yes. and we hope that you guys enjoyed our guests for this year we hope you enjoyed our costumes for we this year we're already moving to the next year well basically the last time they're gonna see it until next year our guests uh, or miguel and juan no <laughs> the effort that we put into our oh. halloween this year yeah when it comes to guests our costumes oh, and everything i get you yes i get it, I get it but um we also would like to have would love to have some new guests in november so comment down below who you're thankful for and would like to have on our podcast. Yeah, Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, I'll give it to them all of Thanksgiving. <laughs> we bring every influencer known in here. We're like, so <laughs> you're thankful? <laughs> so all yeah, right. comment down below your favorite influencers down below so we can invite into our podcast. If they want to come. And if you don't see them on here, it's because they said no. <laughs> <laughs> for real, it wasn't us, it was them. It was them, girl. Go tell them shit. Just <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. Happy Halloween. Be safe out there. And we'll see you guys back to normal. Trick or treat. Bye. Trick or treat. Mm -hmm.